Uh, I thought we started slow. I thought we finished strong. I thought we finished pretty good. How much do you just enjoy kind of this week coming around and getting to start game planning for somebody? It's good. I mean, you know, that's what you shoot for. I've actually thought that, uh, you know, with our camp the way it is, we ought to have a preseason game in there. Uh, not last week, the week before probably, but or at least a, a mixed uh, workout with somebody. But uh, <clears throat> no, I thought it was good. I think it's definitely time for the season. So you've talked about those preseason games before. Is that something you've actually kind of uh, tried to make happen or, or anything like that? Not really. They're pretty dogmatic against it. I'd like to have one in the spring too, but um, I think they had to have one in the spring and uh, one during camp uh, in the fall. But uh, no, nah, that's not something they really want to hear. I don't think. I mean, that doesn't mean I won't say it, but. You know, it's like a uh, guy got other fish to fry, so. Coach Bo Baldwin said today that he expects all three quarterbacks to get some reps against you guys. How much harder does that make it to, to game plan and prepare for them? Uh, not really. I mean, their scheme's kind of what their scheme is. I don't think they're going to very, you know, I mean, it, it's very diversified, and they get the ball in a lot of people's hands. You know, their philosophy in a lot of ways is pretty similar to ours. You know, make sure everybody touches the ball. But, uh you know, the different uh, quarterbacks, you know, the one, the run guy, there's a consideration, but other than that. Does the way they've played Pac-12 teams in the past make it a little easier to, you know, grab your guys' attention? Uh, we should, should, you know, if we're, if we're any good, it, uh, every, no matter who you play, should have your attention. And plus they, you know, win or go deep in the playoffs or win the thing quite a bit. So, um, you know, they're a good quality team and certainly they don't have quite as many guys on scholarship, but they're first level guys I think are as good as ours anyway, so. Does it make it a little easier when you're watching the film and you can watch against opponents you recognize and their strength on their <coughs> Helps a little. It helps a little. If the scheme matches up, it helps a lot. Um, but it, yeah, it helps some, but it's a kind of a, a marriage of uh, the best scheme and uh, what personnel you think you have an idea of. What do you think it is that they, they do well that's allowed them to be kind of one of the more dynamic offenses in the country year in year out? I think they're I think they're really well coached. I think they get the ball in everybody's hands so they uh, create space and uh, and you have to account for all five skill guys and uh, you know and then the other thing they've got pretty good players so what you what are your thoughts on Cooper Cup? <clears throat> Good player, really, and, you know, just a really hard, uh, competitive guy. Competes every play would be probably the strongest thing. You guys haven't won your opener since you've been here. I mean, how important would it be to, to do that and just kind of get going on the right foot? Uh, it's as important as all of them. You know, go out there and play, you play the best you can, be the best team you can be, you know. You hear about these regional variations, West Coast passing offenses, Big Ten running offenses. <clears throat> are, there, are there any variations like that between FBS and FCS styles? Are they doing the ball any differently? Uh, I don't think necessarily. I don't think so because, uh, you know, honestly, Eastern Washington is kind of a team that we have quite a bit in common with uh, offensively, uh, maybe more so than a lot of uh, most of our conference. So I don't think there is. I think that's uh, more coach-based. Could you uh, talk to the guys about the Kaepernick stuff? No, not really. I mean, uh, no, we're, we're going to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, I can tell you that. Anything else for